What's up everybody, this is Leo with Keeper & Co. And today we're at the Haynes booth and we're partnered with Hearst Solutions to show you guys how our platens work with the Brother GTX Pro. Now, one of the questions we get all the time is, do our products work with Brother? And the answer is yes. They work really well and not just that, they make the entire machine a lot faster, which means you can get more prints per hour by using our platens. So, I'm super excited to show you guys this. Let's get started. So for a lot of my viewers, this is a really familiar scene. You're at your print shop, you got a big t-shirt order you need to get done, and your DTG machine is just cranking them out. However, at this point, you've probably started reaching the same frustration that a lot of us have, and that's with the process. Now, don't get me wrong, the printer itself is going to do what it's designed to do, and that's give you great quality prints. However, the process itself is a little flawed. Let me explain. So for most of you guys, you know that you can't actually do anything until that t-shirt finishes printing. That means you can't load the next t-shirt, you can't make sure that it's straight and centered and all that good stuff that we have to do anyways. So instead of doing anything, you or your employee are just idly waiting next to the machine until it finishes printing to give you the ability to do the next step. Now that just didn't sit well with us because honestly, we're not mad at the printer. It's designed to print and that's what it's doing very well. What we're upset about is that the order of operations isn't as efficient as it could be, especially when you have medium to large orders that you need to get done. So at this point, you finally see me coming into the screen because I can finally do something. And as you can see here, I'm just taking off the t-shirt like most of you guys would at your print shop, switching it over to the heat press and I'm gonna hover for a little bit because as you could see, it is kind of a big print. So I wanna hover over it for a few seconds and do a little bit of what we call scarring or basically lightly curing the top layer so it doesn't just splatter everywhere when I lay down the press. Giving it a few more seconds to cure. And then I'm finally curing the t-shirt. All right, so now I'm looking for the next t-shirt, which I probably should have put in a better place. Once I find it, I'm loading it up back on the machine. And this is what I don't like about the process. You're doing all of this with a lot of stress and pressure of knowing you still haven't hit that print button in a few minutes. So you're wasting time. And this is what leads to a lot of errors, for me at least, when it comes to the t-shirt being centered and straight, ultimately, whether the design is centered and straight. So I don't like that you're doing all of that under pressure. Now, as you can see here, the print is great. Large print, vibrancy, I'm happy with the print itself. What I'm not happy with is now I just have to wait next to the machine until this finishes printing to do something else. And in this case, I feel like I'm just wasting time and money waiting for the print to finish. So now let me show you guys what this process would look like if you used our transportable platens. So, once the print is finished, all you have to do is put it on your setup station, load in the next blank, and hit print. And now you can do all of the same time-consuming steps of the process while the printer's printing. And this is great because you're not actually wasting the printer's time and you can take your time with the other steps, such as loading up the next t-shirt, making sure that it's straight and centered, talking to your buddies on the sideline, whatever it is that you want to do, you're not wasting time because that printer is still printing. So even though I'm taking my time with all the steps in the process, I'm even printing other shirts, the printer behind me is still printing it's still making me money. Now, I'm gonna load up obviously the next t-shirt by taking off this one, putting it on my setup station, loading up the next shirt, and within seconds I hit print again. So if you're hitting print every five to 12 seconds versus every minute or three minutes, you're printing more t-shirts per hour. And at the end of the day, as print shop owners, that's the type of productivity that we wanna see. Now this is a really important step and I do want to highlight it because making sure that your t-shirt is straight, making sure that it's nice and flat to avoid height sensor issues is really important and you really get that calm, patient loading time away from the machine instead of knowing that you're on the clock and you have to go as fast as possible. So even right here, taking it off the platen, putting it on the heat press, which is currently occupied is still something that you can do and take your time with and do it right. Because there's no point in waiting two to three minutes for a print to finish if you're just gonna mess it up later. By loading your apparel away from the machine, it's a lot more relaxing, more comfortable, and more of an enjoyable process as a whole. Now let me slow it down so you guys can see how easy the transition is. All you have to do is take the printed t-shirt off the machine, put it on your setup station, 
Put the new fresh blank on the machine, which slides right into the master adapter, and then hit print. Within seconds, the machine keeps printing. And at the end of the day, that's the name of the game. Because every minute that that machine is not printing is another minute that I'm not making money. And just like that, you're printing more t-shirts per hour with our transportable plans.